Simply put, walls work and walls save lives. America is made stronger by the presence of immigrants, not walls. The federal government still has not fulfilled its responsibility. For many, the Texas border is a political debate viewed through a barrage of news coverage. For many along the banks of the Rio Grande in Hidalgo County, the border is deeply personal. How important is this area? This is our family's legacy. This is our family's heart and soul. And as construction crews move into the area this week, questions linger about the border wall's impact. We're just to hear what, what is really going to happen. Before the government shutdown, Galveston-based Sullivan Land Services, or SLS, won a pair of contracts worth a combined $312 million to build levee walls in Hidalgo County. Construction is expected to start this month on concrete walls with steel bollards on top, similar to this picture. One six-mile stretch begins south of Mission and cuts through the National Butterfly Center. The land runs to the banks of the Rio Grande and center officials have been unsuccessful in stopping planned construction. Five segments of another nearly eight-mile stretch of wall will run south of Donna, Westlaco, and Mercedes. In between these projects, it has a history to it. Is the Eli Jackson Cemetery in Jackson Ranch Church. Both are designated historical sites by the state of Texas because they were established in the late 1800s by one of the earliest ranching families in the area. This is my great grandfather, Federico Jackson. He was born back in 1893. Descendants of the Jackson family are worried border wall construction along the levee behind the church and cemetery will displace graves. The Texas Historical Commission even cautioned the federal government to be mindful of these and other historical spots. It's a sacred place for us. That should mean something. People living here say they've gotten no specific answers from the federal government as to what will happen if a wall is built here. Customs and Border Protection told Channel 2 Investigates the cemeteries in question are not located within the levee wall project footprints which are targeted to begin construction in February. That doesn't mean that we're not going to be affected sooner or later. When we asked about future construction plans beyond February, we got no comment. That's the thing we just don't know. We just don't know we're going to be affected. The concerns come from this Customs and Border Protection map showing a proposed wall in fact going through the area. It's about taking care of our ancestors that are buried here. Tribal chairman for the Carrizo Come Crudo tribe of Texas, Juan Mancias, says the area is vital to Native American culture. He worries because the Department of Homeland Security has secured waivers for a host of environmental endangered species and preservation laws to move construction forward on portions of the wall. This land is sacred to us. Federal officials say they respect these concerns, but a fence is vital. They say more people are caught illegally crossing the border here than any other spot along the southwest border. More than 162,000 people last year, along with thousands of pounds of drugs. Mancias and other residents are undeterred. They set up camp and put on a pot of coffee in the cemetery and held marches at the Butterfly Center to protest construction. Do you plan to stand in the way of construction? We're, we're, we plan to, to video everything that they're doing. We have a right as citizens of this country, but we're here, we're not going anywhere, we never left. President Trump said he may still declare a state of emergency to get funding to build remaining portions of the wall. We have more on that and the federal government's legal tussle with the Catholic Church on this issue under the Investigate section of click2houston.com. Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.